Hello guys, I wanted to ask a question and see this uh, GSP hasn't been opening for the last two days now and uh, I wanted to see what's wrong with it. I checked my parameters and I'll show them to you guys in a minute but uh, this is the GSP and uh, it was in this place with that flow and uh, it was doing just fine, beautiful then I moved it over here, not too far away, would still, I imagine, still would get flow there. That's uh, maybe what? Four inches, five inches across? If that. And uh, it won't open up. I'm thinking maybe it's my parameters. Uh, something was not bothering it because I was checking it out and nothing that I could see. Um, but my question is I'm gonna I want to put it as close to this section here as possible but will it sting will, the, will this GSP or this little polyp here if you guys could see it that polyp right there is this kind of uh, that kind of uh, what is that zoanthids or Pallies, I don't know what it's called. But I pulled it off of that wall, the frag plug, and it was starting to to get on that wall there. So I cut off a piece. If you guys could see if I could do this one-handed. Yeah, you guys could see the tear there at the bottom. And uh, I wanted to place this here really close but right there I placed it right there will it my question is will this GSP sting that polyp or will the polyp sting the GSP uh, if you guys could comment and let me know uh, any advice on the stinging and also what could I do to bring this thing back uh, should I put it in coral uh, revive or dip it I don't know are these GSP safe to dip uh, regarding my parameters uh, these are my parameters here I took them today sorry about all the moving up and down but uh, yeah these are the parameters so uh, Temperature was 78. Salinity was down, but then I put some salt and it went back up to 1025. And uh, this is pH is around 8, 8.2 today. Uh, ammonia. Uh, the nitrate I don't test for because I was blue, very light blue. Uh, this is nitrate. Nitrate was high, and I did those in Opox today, one milliliter, and I'll be doing that. Should I do that weekly, or should I do that every day? So, if you guys could give me advice on that Nopox. I want to see to dose the Nopox. Maybe that nitrates will go down, because I have a lot of livestock right now. So, yeah, the nitrates, hoping the Nopox would go down. With the Nopox, it will go down. Uh, I'm dosing at the moment one milliliter and this is my first day today because uh, I was thinking maybe the phosph the, the nitrates are bringing it down or something and it was a very nice piece hopefully it'll come back but uh, yeah this is uh, alkalinity 8.0 uh, calcium was 440 and magnesium was 1270. Uh, since I put some uh, fresh salt in the in the sock to melt down to bring my salt back, my salinity back to 1.025, I'm thinking the levels if I test again are going to be much better because I'm having more salt in there with all those elements. So number one, will this thing this, or vice versa? These two guys, will they sting each other? And sh 
should I dip this? Yes or no? Maybe it'll make it come back. And um, no pucks. Uh, regarding the the no pucks, I did. One milliliter, the first line, this small one right here. And, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, it should bring your phosphates and nitrates down. Uh, I know I'm having nitrates problem because I have too much fish in here. And it's something I want to deal with, see what's the best way to keep all these fishes in the tank and deal with the nitrates uh, if you guys could give me advice on the dosing for the no pox should I do it daily weekly and how much uh, and also on the GSP uh, where is it yeah I have the the revive and I have the Coral Emmy wash off. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, comment and subscribe and uh, share the videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.